Hey everybody, hey you know it, Jig and Jerry here. Well, I am in Florida with a good friend of mine, Jeremy, and we are here to target Schnook. That's right. Now, we are headed to Juno Beach in Juno Pier, but one of our first stops is going to be Jupiter Inlet. Now, this is a pretty good size inlet. The water gets going really, really fast. But I'll tell you, the water here is clear as a bell. I mean, you can almost see to the bottom in a lot of locations here, unless it starts really getting dirty as the tide gets stronger, the current gets faster. But, you know, I had no problem out here as we were fishing into dark, hooking into small tarpon like this here. Yeah. <laughs> now we had fished Jupiter Inlet a couple of times, and I got pretty lucky. I did manage to catch one nice schnook at dusk, and then uh, the other day I came back out. I caught one in the dark. Now I did not have cameras pre-set up because the light was not that good and it was very hard to record in that type of light. But, did have a great time catching them. And of course, my underwater cameras really did a great job picking up all of this life right here along the rocks like a reef. And all this bait right here is what those schnook are in here for. Well, all right, we are headed over to Juno Pier. Let's check it out and see what the excitement is all about with the Chinook coming in. Now, as Jeremy and I start going down the pier, we noticed how empty the pier is. Now, we had to get there pretty early to see if uh, we can get a spot. And the first thing we noticed looking down is we've seen sharks swimming around. We look around a little bit more, and you can notice the water is so clear you can see barracuda and large needlefish swimming close to the top. And the fish, it's just amazing how clear this water is. We even see an eagle ray going by. Now I had to giggle to myself when I looked out, and amongst all these sharks and things, I see somebody out there just above them snorkeling. And you have to wonder, well, what in the world are you looking at so closely that you're not even thinking about the sharks and the barracudas and everything as you're out there snorkeling? So we approached the end of the pier and we noticed it is pretty crowded. Everybody is fishing intently. What are they looking at? Well, let's find out.
Wow. Amazing. She got a little blue runner. Check it out. Now, this young lady here caught herself a real nice blue runner. If you get a blue runner the right size, oh, that can be perfect bait for a monster schnook. If you can get a good size blue runner. So needless to say, this had happened to me seven times on seven big, big fish. It was a pain. The fo there was a couple of center footers that are so close to you and those big guys, they just wrap around them and cut you quick. You have to almost catch them on the outside of the pier and get their head up right away. And some of those monsters, unless you are using, some of these guys, they're using 100 pound test line and 100 pound test leader. It's unbelievable the size of the gear they're using for these fish. But with all that structure, that's what they're doing. Anyway, did Jeremy find one? Oh yeah, he did.
Now those are what we came for, right, buddy? Yep. Nice shoes. Hey, what kind of fish is that? Just snook. Snook. Man, that was a tough one. On the old Garcia Nova. That one might be 32 on the head. Right? Yeah. Yay. I'll get a cell phone yeah, pick if you pose, you ready? Good job, Jeremy. Well, there were other things caught, like sea turtles. There were some really big snook that had been caught. And they were caught on real, real large, large bait and big, big, big tackle. As you can see here, this young man showing off a monster fish that measured in at 43 inches long. And Jeremy did manage to catch himself a few more small snook and had a great time. And people are enjoying themselves on the beach. Well, all right. Well, before Jeremy and I end our fishing trip here in Florida, <laughs> we had to run around and see if we could find a gift shop. Well, huh, guess what? We can't find one here. There are no gift shops. So we had to look it up on uh, Google and we found one in Jupiter, Florida, over by Jupiter Inlet. So we went out there. It is the only one. They have been there 30 years. They are called Sea Treasures. And Jeremy and I can stop in, look at all their goodies, and pick some stuff up for our families and head back to South Carolina. All right. And here is Jeremy trying to fight a pirate because they're ticked off arguing over whose beard is longer. <laughs> Well, don't forget, if you like the show, look down. There is a subscribe button. Subscribe and click that notification bell, please, so you know when I have new shows available. To all my friends out there, thanks for watching. For those of you watching for the first time, you know the drill. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. <laughs> well, keep on watching. I got a few little things to end the show here. And, uh, hey, like I always say, good luck out there and have fun fishing. Take care. I'm going to get him right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's Beep. the fart sriracha. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that was, that is terrible. I thought we Beep. hit a pluff mud pocket or something. I'm going to heave. I got the window down. That, don't, that didn't even help. It just sucked it right to my face. Did you taste it? It was, so, that was, it was thicker than peanut butter. <laughs> As you can tell, Jeremy enjoyed trying to torture me a little bit during this trip. That's right. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and end the show with some underwater footage of the Juno Pier.